I'm going to push on. So this is my. Uh, they're very much older than me, and I met them from uh, Instagram. Uh, Lisa, she's the pastor wife, and when I escaped from North Korea to all the way to America, they support me as finance, the finance finance support. So that's how I realize um, how they helped me out. So I'm going to meet them today. So I'm so excited for. Going to Busan. It's my first time also. So see you guys at Busan. Because it was cold noodle. Uh huh. You know, we never had cold noodle before. Yes, yes. So we saw this, you know, noodle uh -huh. coming. It's okay, I take it. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, we tried it and we're like, this is cold. So at first uh -huh. we didn't love it, but now we love it. We order it, like, special. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes. And this is my favorite thing. Oh. <laughs> the meal, 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 meal. Meal, meal, meal. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mashi <laughs> sayo. <laughs> yes. No, no, I'm a pretty cheaper. It's a pretty place. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. So, do you want, you want the naengmyeon? Naengmyeon? Yes. Lake? Yes. yes. And do you want, do you want to drink? So where does your mom live? She lives in Seoul. Where in Seoul? Seoul, um, Tangsongi. Tangsongi, she got her, uh, Oh, she got her. Yeah. It's okay, I <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining us, uh, NK Missions Board from America, and we're here in South Korea, and we are so grateful for you, and we wanted to share this story with you because you're so much a part of our lives and the work that we do. And so uh, it's just an incredible story. So Lisa, yeah. I want you. Well, before I start, this is the star right here. This is Evelyn. Evelyn, do you want to just quickly introduce yourselves? Just tell her who you are. Cindy, you want to start with you? I'm Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> I live on a farm. <laughs> and Cindy's husband, who's not feeling well, is the president. Oh, the president of our board. Of oh, the board. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Lee and Susan Jordan. And they were founding board members yeah. with us as <laughs> the Jordan, I mean the Granos. And uh, Jason and Gina Reamer. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We've, been, we've been there. We, They've we come to Korea. Oh, really? Oh, and good. they're our host family when we go home. Oh, we stay with them because oh, we don't have a home oh, anymore oh, there. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> Come visit us too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she wants to see Washington, so that would be great. Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, and seems. Oh, oh can't we can hear, hear you. Uh, can't hear you. Oh, audio. Uh, audio. Uh, press the mute button. Oh no, no mute button. No. Yeah, let's mute. You unmute it. Unmute it. Yes, unmute it. 
Oh, hi. So Valerie nice and her we'll husband. Yeah, he's we've known the gallows for a good 20 plus years. Yeah. Oh. And uh, everyone else on the call, I guess, uh, yeah. Cool. So anyway, a little of the backstory. 2013, God pierced our hearts to want to try to help North Koreans. The first thing we did was a fundraising concert um, to try to offset broker fees uh, to help a rescue. And um, it ended up being for Evelyn. And um, we were able to uh, pass the money to an NGO that helped children escape from North Korea. So we were told of a 14-year-old girl at that time who was in need of rescue and also wanted to re resettle in America, uh, which, as you know, is not as you know normal. Usually they go to South Korea, but we do have about 220 North Koreans in America. Um, so it's a long process, and uh, by God's grace, she made it to America. And the last we heard was that she was placed with a family in Colorado. And obviously, there were some, you know, hard adjustment times, you know, the culture shock, the language, so many things. But that was it. That was all we heard. And so, as you guys know me, when God puts someone in my heart, it doesn't quickly go away. So over the years, I would always think of her and pray for her and wonder, you know, is she okay? Did she make it? You know, where is she? And mm -hmm. I never knew anything. And about six months ago, I was here in this little apartment by myself. And to be honest, it was a day when I was kind of low, having missing my parents and kind of questioning, what are we doing here? <laughs> are we really supposed to be here? You know, are, are we making a difference? You know, I, I lost my parents in America and yet I'm here. and. So there was a wrestling going on that day and I had the TV on and I was watching a YouTube of how to learn Korean language. I'm always doing that in my spare time. And so the video ended and I got up and started cleaning the house. And as I walked back in the room after probably about 20 minutes, there was another YouTube on that came on and it was a young blogger named Gina Kim who had a show. And she said, today I'm gonna be into, uh, interviewing my very first North Korean defector. So when I heard that, of course, it got my attention. I sat down and I see this beautiful girl appear on the TV and I'm listening to her story and suddenly pieces to a puzzle start coming together and I'm sitting there a little stunned and the hair on my arm starts raising and my heart starts beating out of my chest and I'm like, wait a minute, this timeline is exactly the right timeline. Her age looks like it could be right. She's lived in America, and I said, if she says she's lived in Colorado, I'm going to fall on the floor. And she didn't say that, but she did post a picture of her with her American host family uh, making snow angels. And I was like, aha, uh -huh, okay, Colorado has snow. <laughs> so as soon as the show ended, um, they put up her contact information, which I was so grateful for. So I immediately went to my laptop and started writing a note. I said way too much <laughs> in it, but I just wrote her this long, crazy story and asked her, you know, could this be you? And understandably, when she read it, she's reading from this stranger and bringing up about money and all these things. She was a little cautious, I think, at first, but as we talked, I think trust was built between us. And eventually she asked me the name of the NGO that we had donated the money to, and I told her. And then she sent me a photo of the head of it, and she said, is this her? And I said, yes. And then she wrote, OMG, I want to call you. <laughs> so we exchanged phone numbers and we talked on the phone and I cried like a baby. <laughs> and she was like, don't cry, don't cry, you're going to make me cry. So obviously she had no idea about us or about MK Missions or anything like that. And um, anyway, shortly after that, the proudest moment, she was becoming a U.S. citizen. I think it was only like one week later. So anyway, so that's just the amazing story that only God could, could do, that we found each other right. in Korea with her living in America. Like me. Uh, we're so glad we found each other. What's up, boy? Gideon's right here. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty sure a lot of boys are watching right now. <laughs> so this is Jacob. What's up? Okay. So welcome back to my show. Like, I <laughs> sorry, I feel bad. Sorry, my bad. Hello, it's everyone. Like, it's my show. <laughs> okay, so this is my church friend. 
I just met today. And just uh, could you introduce like just name by like your name? Okay. Hi, I'm Ali. Alyssa. Jacob. And Evelyn here. And you. That's it. Okay, let's go. What about you? Oh, oh get in, y'all. Get in. I live in your What's phone. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I have chocolate in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got that mong mong thing right there. Can we zoom it in a little bit? Oh, no, we can't. What a shame. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> There's a, a meow meow. I can't, does that look good? Mm. So where are we going? We're going to a coffee shop, right? So, mm -hmm. Starbucks. Yeah, we're going to go to Starbucks and then we're going to... Get some caffeine. Yeah, get some vitamin C. You know, just put it inside of our bodies. Right, it's exactly. Be great. Oh my gosh. It's like, get ourselves hyped up or something. Well, we're at Jolly Ranchers. So. Yeah, so we're kind of like, also, oh, of sugar high and filled yeah, with caffeine right now. <laughs> Alright, see you there. Bye. See you there. Okay. <laughs> so this would be a uh, Hyundai. Hyundai. What be this street called? Uh, it's pretty well known. I mean, they should have named for this Main Street. Big. Oh yeah, Hyundai Main Street. This is Main street. Where the Main Street in Hyundai. All people around around the world would gather here every summer. Oh. You see a whole bunch of folks. I mean, mostly from the states. But yo, we got a Thursday party right here. <laughs> If, if, if you come here on Thursday night and you're a foreigner, you get to get inside the bar for free. Like, okay, no, you I'm, do. I'm not messing. I'm not oh. messing. It's like, how how do I know that? Let's let's keep it that way. Okay. <laughs> Next topic. So we have a we got Burger King right there. Where? Burger King. You know, it's a shame they don't have Carl's Jr. here in Korea. Carl's Jr. Do you know Carl's Jr.? The, the burger joint, yeah. Oh, oh are you? Yes. Oh, hey, I want to take a picture here. All right. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. She's Elisa, and I'm Evelyn. So I'm here at uh, Chang Dehyun School. Right. It's uh, middle school and high school all together. Right. North Korean students. Right. Um, oh, kind of love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, Lisa, so how about you explain this sure. school? Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm with lovely Elephant. Ele 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm lovely Elephant and or Elegant. <laughs> you trying to say me like Elegant? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for you saying like oh, elegant. Oh. Elegant Evelyn. Okay, <laughs> elegant. Okay. What a we are at Jungdaeyeon School mm -hmm. and we are in Shinho, uh, South Korea, yes. in Busan, mm -hmm. and we are at a school for North Korean defector students. And right. we're so happy today to have Evelyn come as mm -hmm. our guest speaker. So thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you. So this uh, special school about like North Korean defectors right. who go to high school, middle school to high school right. to graduate, and some uh, kids are going to really good uh, college here in South Korea, and I'm really proud of them. Yes. Yeah, and like they keep some like special histories. This is a long time, um, long right. time ago, one of the history school, right? Right. How about you explain that a bit? Sure, the um, school is actually named Jangdaeyeon after a very famous church in Pyongyang. And uh -huh. uh, they want to have a similar attitude towards just raising up leaders for future leaders of a unified Korea. Uh -huh. So they um, do a very good job here, just helping these students to find their destiny. Right, right. Yeah. So, hey guys, I just find out this is also a Christian school. Right. Yeah, I'm so happy they, um, they study for like uh, God and in North Korea, there isn't any God and or any religion in North Korea. So, right. I'm so proud of the kids and who are trying to learn God. And, and it helps with their healing. Yeah, uh, like they, off they mm -hmm. offer them counseling mm -hmm. and art therapy and music therapy and right. also teach them how to have a prayer time and it really brings healing to them. Yes. Good, good, good yeah. for them, yes. 